Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Here on Designing Spaces, we like to present you, the homeowner. Or future homeowner. Or future homeowner with all the latest and greatest ideas for improving your lifestyle and making your home that much nicer. And making your household everything you desire can cross a wide spectrum of topics from controlling personal finances to choosing the right appliances. That's right. And of course, let's not forget those do-it-yourself projects. Designing Spaces enjoys a good project every now and then. You save money, you upgrade your property, and you know having the right tool is so important, so we're jumping in the home toolbox as well. Well, and then there's perfecting the final touches, creating the mood for those special occasions at home. And you know what that is? The payoff yeah. for doing the right thing. Because everything we have just mentioned just now will be on today's show. So you'll definitely want to stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Inside or outside, here at Designing Spaces, we are thinking about what you can do to make your living space a better place to be. Thinking about it? Mm -hmm. I say we show them. Watch this. Okay. The light of candles, the soft, warm glow, the almost friendly flickering. When it comes to our homes and their decor, candles make a statement and set a tone or mood unlike any other accessory. Of course, we are aware that there is a downside to candles, mainly because of the open flame. They do present a danger. But what if you were told that all the candles you have just seen are flameless? Designing Spaces is always on the lookout for ways to enhance your home's decor. And candles definitely bring atmospheric lighting to the table. But we want to do this safely, conveniently, and cost-effectively. Well, joining us today is Mark Medley, the owner and founder of Enjoy Lighting and the creator of a line of flameless candles that solve your decorating challenges. Welcome to the show, Mark. Thanks for having me. I have to say, I think the first thing that our viewers are going to say when they see your beautiful candles is wow because they look so real. What inspired you to create a line of flameless candles? You know, I was uh, taken aback by all the challenges that traditional wicked candles actually um, pose, and I realized, you know, there's a real problem here in need of a solution. What are some of the problems? Well, some of the problems, and probably the biggest, is the issue of fire. Yeah. Uh, once every 34 minutes in the United States, a house catches on fire because of an open flamed candle. That's scary. It is. Um, and so flameless candles, of course, solve that. Um, some of the other issues that are also opposed by traditional wick candles um, are the issues of soot um, and uh, dripping wax. Soot? The, a small candle would have soot? Well, you know, when you light a candle, uh, it is a burning component. And that burning component is putting uh, smoke into the air, uh, chemicals, wax chemicals, and really causing a layer of soot to build up on your walls and ceilings. And, and this is something that you're breathing in as you walk through your home. In addition, of course, is the issue of dripping wax. Uh, candles, um, if they burn over a long period of time, can drip wax onto your furniture or carpets or floors, uh, creating a mess that's almost impossible to clean up. So how do they work? Well, let me tell you, you know, in the technological age that we're in, uh, we took the time to create and develop a custom computer chip that's actually inside the candle. And that computer chip talks to the LED inside, okay. basically tells it to flicker in the most realistic pattern that we could design. Um, and it, as simple as that, you place the batteries in the bottom, uh, typical AA or AAA batteries, depending upon the style of candle you purchase, mm -hmm. and turn it on and you have a flickering realistic candle. Mark, the flickering of the flame and the, the glowing light, and plus the real wax, how do you guys achieve that? Well, you know, we have another candle here that um, is incredibly unique to Enjoy Lighting. Uh, it has three LEDs down inside, not just one, but three. And we've strategically placed those LEDs on different planes, really different locations inside the body of the candle. Mm -hmm. um, by doing that, as they flicker, and each one independently flickers all on its own, um, there's no specific rhythm. It's, it's truly random. But as they flicker on those different planes, 
the light shifts and moves and dance, just like a flame. You know, a flame really dances and rolls inside the candle. With those three LEDs, you get the most realistic, true look um, of any electronic candle on the market. So what are some of the features on the candles? Probably one of the best features, um, the most well received, is a timer feature. Wow, I love that. Well, we talked about convenience earlier, and really um, the strength of convenience comes with that timer, where you can take the candle, spend the few minutes putting the batteries in the bottom, and then set it so that every day it'll turn on and off at the exact same preset time that you determined. I really particularly love this setting right here. I think the colors are gorgeous, and I actually thought they were traditional candles. Can you tell me a little bit about this grouping? When we set out to design our flameless candles, not only did we want to create a realistic flickering candle, but we wanted the actual exterior of the candle to look very much like a traditional wick candle. Many viewers may not really even know is that these are wax, so that really there's no difference. And so we've designed them with a variety of textures, colors, and even fragrances um, that will complement anyone's home decor. Probably one of our best sellers is this burgundy. It's a gorgeous color, um, puts out a great light. And a great fragrance, I just noticed, actually. Yes, the fragrance mm -hmm. is actually infused into the wax. Mm. Um, in a traditional wick candle, when you burn the candle, the actual flame uh, puts the smell of the fragrance into the air, along with some of the negatives, and with the soot and the, and the actual smoke. But that's how fragrance is lifted into, into the air. With our candles, we infuse the fragrance into the wax and with simple air movement around the candle, as you walk past, as the uh, heater or air conditioner is running, that kind of air movement helps the, uh, the fragrance to lift off the wax and fill the room. I noticed you have some candles here with the dripping, you know, the wax dripping, although will not ruin the table. What about those candles? You know, that was one of the first candles we designed. Let me pick one up here. Um, it was made to look um, sort of realistic, but also unique. Mm -hmm. um, most candles, in a pillar form like these are, don't drip wax down the exterior. But the look of that wax adds such a unique element to it's the very candle. old world, actually. It's it really beautiful. Is. And it's something you're not going to see in a, um, in a traditional wick candle. Um, probably the other thing I should point out, too, is that all of our candles um, have this sculpted top edge. Mm -hmm. And that sculpted edge makes it look, again, like the candle has been burnt. Very realistic. Yes, very realistic. And then I notice you just have the smooth exterior candles like these two here. Tell me a little bit about these. You know, the smooth uh, ivory candle was one of the first candles we designed, and it's probably one of our best sellers. Um, in any home decor, an ivory color, which is a neutral tone, really uh, is easy to use, and so it has a lot of uh, potential application. So how would you incorporate these candles into your home decor? Candles can be used all throughout a home. Um, traditional wick candles do have limitations there. Uh, you would never put a traditional wick candle onto a, um, a bookshelf, for instance, yeah. <laughs> because the shelf above, you know, might catch on fire. But with a flameless candle, these can be used in uh, bookshelves, inside enclosed cabinets, on high ledges, or in places where it's difficult really to get to and light a candle. And of course, throughout the house, everywhere else, um, a kid's room, uh, of course, the bathroom, anywhere you would typically use traditional wick candles. So anywhere you know it's going to look beautiful and normally you couldn't do it and now you can really make that room stand out. Absolutely. And even outdoors. Um, traditional wick candles, you really can't use outdoors. One little blowing of the wind and they've blown out. Uh, the wind can blow all day and the flameless candles will continue to flicker. What are the other benefits of using a flameless candle from a traditional? As I've spoken to um, users uh, over the past few years, I've heard many stories about uh, our candles being used in nursing homes. Um, at hospitals, places where you could not light a flame, uh, given as gifts, of course, um, even used as night lights for children. Mark, where do we get your flameless candles? Uh, that's very easy. They just need to uh, go to our website, which is enjoylighting.com, and it's enjoy spelled just like it sounds, E-N-J-O-Y. Thanks so much for joining us today, Mark. It's been great to be here. If you'd like to find out more information about Enjoy Lighting, visit our website at designingspaces.tv, where you could also view this segment of the show again. For Designing Spaces, I'm Michelle Russo.
Now that was nice. A perfect way to end the show. I know. We started with money and finances and ended the show under the soft glow of candlelight. Leave it to designing spaces to cover a wide range of topics. Oh, and girls powered up. That's right. We got some great helpful tips on the show today. What more could you ask for? Our next show. You'll have to wait on that. More <laughs> great topics for home and lifestyle are being lined up as we speak. You won't want to miss it. But for now, we're out of time. This is Designing Spaces, and I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.